Hello, it's Jennifer, and I am so excited because today we are going to be putting together our board, <laughs> our accountability board, if you will. Um, this guy, I've talked about it before. It is probably the most important tool that I use when I am going through things that I need to get rid of. Um, because what I do is I, I set this up beforehand and I'm going to walk us through how to make it and then also we'll go through some of the steps to use it. Um, but what it does is I'm able to put down everything that is in my clear logical mind before I get started and then also what my hoarding mentality is going to tell me. And that way I am prepared and ready and as I'm going through things I can look at this and it really brings me, brings me into my own <laughs> advice and my own logic versus you know, somebody else trying to tell me what to do. Um, you can absolutely use, um, you know, you don't have to go buy a new board. I got this one just because I really liked the size. And I also loved the idea that you can, um, it has some little hanging, hanger things. So you could put it up on a wall if you want, wherever you're at. But the other nice thing about this is it's kind of a clean slate. So I'm gonna put, put some lines together and we'll go through that. But certainly if you already have, a dry erase board or um, this one's actually really great this is kind of one of those um, wobbly ones that I absolutely use this you can see I actually that's probably the first one that I did use um, but I now want to kind of dedicate something smaller so when I'm taking it with me from place to place it's never going to be adding to my hoard of whatever I'm going through and it, it's ready to go now the main reason I like the dry erase and you can certainly use just you know pen and paper if you want as well but I'm gonna be putting together some you know some lines on this one and um, I'll probably do a little cut away and then come back but I'm gonna use this like this black tape I think it might be electric tape and I'm gonna make some lines and some divisions and put some some standard stuff on there because even though I'm gonna wipe it down after each time and redo it every time I start again I like to have my lines kind of drawn out if you don't have this kind of tape you can certainly um, you know grab some markers and, and make your own lines as well um, the important thing is that you embrace that this is yours and you're going to use it how you want to but the nice thing is i, I and I, I finally got the connection of why i decided to do something like this and it comes back to the fact that i grew up playing sports and you know a lot of times and then after that I actually coached for a while and we would have kind of the play board you know so you'd be pulled over at break and you know you'd be putting this here and this here and this is what we're gonna do and then you know break and then coach would wipe it off you'd come back over and you'd do it it may be the exact same thing every time when we go through this um, a lot of the same questions are gonna be up and a lot of the same justifications but there is something about putting it down each and every time you go to look at it because otherwise it becomes like like anything else you know I'm certain you've probably read some great organizing books some some really effective um, ways to do stuff uh, you may have watched some YouTube videos that kind of explain the the organizing process and you know you get to watch the, the quick fix cleanup stuff and you know you know what to do it's not that you haven't heard it it's not that you're not wanting to get rid of your stuff it's just that there is a small disconnect at the beginning of the process that does not set you up for success and that's what i'm here to kind of go through with you guys so what i am going to do is actually um work on some of my editing skills i'm going to cut away a little bit and and kind of put put my board together that way you can kind of see how it it works in practice and then I'm going to take us through just a couple little categories so that we're not caught up too much on that, but we will absolutely be spending more time with the different items because every hoard is different, whether it's, you know, books or shoes or just general stuff. Um, but I like to really address this kind of categorically and that's what works for me. So, all right, I'm going to cut away and then when I come back, we're going to have our little board and go from there. Okay. I am back. Um, I've kind of rigged a little system here that hopefully you'll be able to see the board. Um, what I've done, I have made my lines kind of across, across, and then I'm just going to write in a couple different uh, categories, if you will, or places that I'm going to be filling in. So the top one said objective, 
And then I'm just doing this one in a black and then I'll use some other colors when I'm actually filling it out. So the first one is going to be Logic. Second one is gonna be Hoarding Mentality. I'm just gonna put HM. And then on the bottom, I am going to put Truth or Truth. So, you can see pretty simple. Here they are, ready to go. Leave them there. <laughs> okay, so I know I mentioned what I like to do is do kind of categories. I like to sweep the areas that I have. And even though in, in my case, a lot of it was kind of all congested together, there were certain things that I, that I went in for and that I took out and that I could get rid of that way. Some people will, you know, clear an entire room and then, you know, sort it into different categories, which is totally, totally fine too. You can kind of get your categories. It depends, you know, what works for you. And categories can vary, you know, from things or I, I like to also call them um, like-minded activity because for this one, to give an example, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do, um, let me grab colored pen. I'm going to do the objective of um, things that are broken. So again, when you've got a pile of stuff, some of the low hanging fruit are, are things that you know that you can throw away. So my objective on top is going to be to, um, to get rid of broken items. And one of the things when I'm, I'm picking up kind of my objective is, you know, does this bring me value? Um, is this bringing value? Is this adding value to my life? So when I'm wanting to pare down something that, you know, I love and we'll get more specific. Let's say I, I just uh, am an avid reader and I, and I love books. So my bookshelf is absolutely filled. Maybe my objective is not going to be to get rid of all of the books, but rather you know, um, something more real specific, like I'm going to get rid of books that I don't love or books that I know I will not read again or books that I want to give away. So there are things that you can kind of pick an objective and work small, smaller to bigger. Start with really specific things that you can. Broken may be a big category for some people, um, especially the ones that, that hang on to things because of potential, which I was definitely that kind of hoarder as well. Um, you know, maybe all it needed was for me to do this, you know, maybe it was, um, and although it's not broken, I will call it ruined, but I might put this in my broken, um, file is if let's say I have a pair of pants or, or shorts that have a rip in them, you know, all I need to do is stitch that right up. Good as new. Um, something, you know what little girly glue is going to hold that right together. It's fantastic. All it needs is a part. Yeah, I know I'm missing a wheel, but you know, I'll, I'll take care of that. So. Those kind of things are what I'm putting in here. So the logic when it comes to it, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep the logic in blue just cause that's where I'm going. So the logic is, you know, why do I wanna get rid of broken items? Well, logically because it's broken. Um, also, you know, maybe I know it's broken. So my hoarding mentality, which I'm going to do in uh, pink because it kind of stops us is um you know like i paid a lot for it you know i know it's broken but i paid a lot for it that's actually something that comes up a lot for me you know we feel like we spent money on something so we're not going to get rid of it um even though maybe it's today value is worthless so that's where that question of is it bringing value to my life today not is it valuable definitely is something i need to think about um, so I'm going to go back here. Now I said it was broken. Um, you know what? I haven't fixed it in years. And so I haven't fixed it. Let's just say in five years or longer. So, um, again, because there we go. The hoarding mentality is I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to fix it. And then the logic is that I haven't fixed it in five years. Uh, so you gotta fix it. And then, um, of course, my big thing is someone's gonna want it. 
someone wants it. So my hoarding mentality is that someone wants it. You know, here might be a reason why, again, when something is not complete, but the part might be fantastic and good for them. So when I have fixed things in other areas and I've gotten a whole, you know, brand new gadget that goes with it because I only needed this part. So the other pieces are fantastic. Somebody is going to want it. Um, logically, we know better. We know better. Nobody wants it. Because if they did, they would have already asked you for it. Oh, they didn't know you had it? Right. <laughs> okay. Next thing. Um, I, I, well, it doesn't matter again because I have space for it. So I have space for it. Because that is a justification. It's just something little. It's a little tiny piece. It's not that big of a deal, right? Um, you know what? The truth of the matter, logically, is that it takes up space. I don't care how big it is. It not only takes up space in your physical environment, but it is taking up space in your head. Because we all do this with 90% of the things that we have. We almost know exactly where they are, or at least the box, or the room, or the area. Because our mind has categorized where we've put these things. Oh, I've got that. So somebody says to you, this kind of goes back to somebody wants it. Somebody's like, oh, you know what I need? And you're like, oh, I've got that. Give me one second, I'm gonna go find it. Now, it may take you 20 minutes to find it, may take you three hours to find it, but you know where it is, so you're gonna find it, right? You know what? You don't have to be that person who has that little thing that somebody needs because for you to hang on to that, it has been taking up space in your head. That's even more valuable than the physical space it's taking up. All right, so going back to, let's say, it is useful. Right, so it's broken, but you can still use it. Maybe you've taped it. Maybe you've done something else. So it's useful. The reality is I don't need it. So the logic of this is I don't need it. Because the truth is just because something is useful, if you're not using it at that moment, it, you, know, you don't need to have a backup to a backup that maybe has been broken. <laughs> All right, so the other thing is that it's special. Oh, it's definitely special. This is a one-of-a-kind um, item, right? It's special. And the reality of this is that you could probably replace it. I could replace it. That is logic. So now I'm not talking about anything specific yet. We're still in the stages before we've even gone and hunted around our hoard and our piles or our garage to get the things that are going to hit to our objective. We're just setting ourselves up. So I'm not thinking of anything specific right now. I am just figuring out what I know my hoarding mentality is going to say and then a counterbalance to it. So again, if it's special, I could probably replace it. Depends on what it is. Not saying you got to get rid of everything. All right. Lastly, I'm going to go with, um, you know, it might be worth something. So not only is it special, but it might be worth something. It might be worth something. And this is where it comes into, and um, I'll go through this in a minute. And then the other piece of that is, yes, it might be worth something, because these are all things that maybe the answer is yes. Um, it's not worth my time. And I'll tell you why in a second. It's not worth, since we're talking about worth, it is not worth my time. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get started with those ones. And then the truth. So I want to put a couple truths. Um, things like this, again, when something is broken, um, here's a truth. And I'm going to pick a totally different color for this one just because I want my truths to kind of stand out. I'm going to do green. Um, the truth is, I deserve better. That is definitely a truth I need to put on here. And I deserve better. Now, if you are not believing these truths right now, this is where you're going to fake it till you make it. These are the things that people tell you that you want to believe. That the, the truth is they are truths. 
Um, you know, one of the other things is that I, I want to have a clean space. That that's a, that's the truth. I don't want to be. I don't want the extra stuff. I want to have a clean space. I mean that that that's true. That's absolutely true. And then also, and this is where it all started, is that I need to be free from my stuff. That that is a truth. I need to be free from my stuff. Okay. From my stuff. This isn't a want. This is a need. This is literally a need. Okay, so I have got a board together. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You can kind of see it on there and this way. All right. Here's the thing. Now I've got this board. Now I can go into some organizing piles. I can go picking some stuff up. I can start going through things very specifically. Where am I again? So my objective here was not to go through and put away blah, 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 blah. No, let's, let's dial it in. My objective for this project right now is to get rid of broken items. So I am about to go and I'm about to hunt out broken items amongst my hoard. And when I get there and I find something, I am going to go through the hoarding mentality of it because I guarantee you it's going to start. It's going to start there we go, the second you get there. And when it does, you already know what your logic is on this side. So you're going to take a look at it. I'm going to get a couple items. I'm going to show you what I mean. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Bear with me. I don't know how this little setup is going to work exactly. Um, but you know what? I figured let's just dive right into this one since we've already put together our board and walk it through because this was a very real board that I made just recently. Um, I have done an amazing job of getting through a lot of my stuff. I'm super proud. I, I'm definitely, I come from a hoarding family. I've, I've been kind of a high functioning hoarder with things and even in, in the best of times, there's still more stuff that I need to do and go through every now and again. And you know, when you get caught up on certain things and they get put back away or they get out of sight, out of mind for a little while, um, I've really been trying to address those as I'm, as I'm kind of working through some stuff and going back. So broken items, really specific for me. Um, I went through the other day and I kept a few of them so that we could kind of walk through them and, and tell you what kind of the resolution and actually see how this, this went through. So I am going to start with, um, all right. These are a pair of hiking shoes that I absolutely, um, I adored. Adored, adored, adored. These are my go-to and they are broken. The sole is completely pulling off of them. Um, the thing about them is that I looked everywhere, everywhere to try to find the exact same pair because I loved them so much and I could not, I could not find them. So. My hoarding mentality immediately jumped in with a couple things. Um, you know, yes, I kind of, I paid a lot for them. You know, they weren't cheap. Um, to, to try to pay to have them professionally fixed would be um, maybe an option, but the truth of the matter is probably more expensive than obviously getting another pair that is ready to go. Um, and the fact of the matter is the logic, it's broken. It's broken. Um, going to fix it, like I said, glue that sole on. All it needs is some serious, amazing stuff. Um, slightly embarrassed to admit, it's been at least four years. Four years that I have held on to these guys. <sighs> they don't take up a lot of room because the truth is I have space for it. <laughs> They're fine. I actually just had them out in my garage hanging there. Um, but that means they took up space. And I also absolutely thought of them every time I went to the store um, to look for other hiking sandals. I have found some. I actually have two or three other pairs that I love. And so the reality is they're not that special because I did replace them. I could replace them. I have replaced them. Um, 
and they're not useful anymore. They're, they're simply not useful. I don't need them. The reason I wanted to keep them was because what if I could find the pair online? Um, so here's something interesting. They're not useful for that anymore because the reality of this situation is I don't need to keep them. The beauty of having smartphones now is that you can take a little picture of it and you know exactly what the brand is. Or you can just, you know, put it somewhere that you know I don't need to keep the physical item. So this was one of these weird items that kind of slipped through the cracks because they didn't take up a lot of space and I had really liked them. Um, obviously I knew they weren't worth anything, you know, to anybody else per se, because I'm not going to sell somebody used shoes. And also they're not donatable. They're not donatable because they are, you know, they are ruined. So anyway, this is one item I kind of walked myself through. Next one is a little bit bigger and a little bit tougher to talk about. <laughs> All right, this guy, I don't want to name names or brands, but you might be able to see it. Um, this guy here, and it is dusty because, yep, is in the garage area. So it is like a HEPA filter, like so amazing. Cleans the air. Um, definitely, I paid a lot for it. I want to be clear on that more than I should have. Of course, that was 15 years ago, um, but it's broken. So yeah, I paid a lot for it, but it, it's it's broken. Um, the thing about fixing it is, well, I clearly can't fix it myself. I, you know, whatever, but it is supposed to have a lifetime warranty because I bought it at, you know, a shop that, that honors that. Um, I'm not sure where the receipt is and I'm not sure where that warranty is. And I'm not even sure if it's still in business anymore or something they would do. Um, so I'm going to jump right down here because that's where it might be worth something. Um, it is not, it, it's not worth my time. It has held space in the broken capacity. I'm going to say at least, I'm going to put it in that five year, five to eight year category at least. Because when it broke, I just believed that I would find that receipt and get it fixed. I still believe that I'll find the receipt. <laughs> But you know what? I haven't in five years, and it's not that special. If I really wanted another one of these guys, I could have gone and bought another one. Um, yeah, it's expensive, but again, it's broken. I deserve better. I want to have a clean space, and I need to free myself from stuff. So I'm making a full circle on the truth. The truth is I deserve better. I want to have a clean space. I need to free myself from my stuff. Now, if you run into something like this and you're like, you know what, maybe I can go online and find if they'll still replace it, then do that. Then absolutely do that. That becomes one of your things, a to-do item. However, that's been a to-do item on my list, again, for five to eight years. So I know it's not going to get done. It's got to go. It's, it's time for it to go. All right. Two more real quick ones. Um, this one's in a little baggie because it is a Tupperware lid. And this just recently broke. I have so much Tupperware. Fun fact, I was the youngest Tupperware dealer in the country, maybe in the world. This is a long time ago when I was in high school. So I got a lot of free Tupperware and it is actually amazing. And I do know that you can send this in still and probably get another piece or I can find another, um, another one online I can go on. So this one I was holding on to. Um, it just recently broke, but it is what I'm going to call probationary. Again, it's kind of small. It hasn't hurt anybody, but if I really want to take care of this, then literally I need to, I need to go and do that. So yes, it's broken as far as going to fix it. Um, nobody wants it. I get that. Um, it's useful. This by itself is not. So again, what I can do is take a picture of it and go look online and see if I can find it. I do not need to hold on to the broken item, period. Okay, and last but not least is this little guy here. And this is a, um, it's wind chimes. Well, <laughs> you'll see the wind chimes in a minute. Um, this falls in uh, a special category. It's special. Um, could I replace it? Well, the truth is, I got it from a friend of mine who has passed and that falls into that sentimental piece of stuff. So while it is broken and I have all the pieces right here, um, it now has to be fixed 
or I have to get rid of it. It is, it is what I kind of call, again, it's on probation right now. It has been at least three or four years since this had, has kind of worn through. Obviously I had it outside in the Arizona sun and it's worked its way through. Um, when it comes to this, do I deserve better? Um, no, actually I deserve to have it fixed. It deserves better. If I am going to keep it and I am going to make it a, a way for me to honor my friend who passed, then it has to be fixed and it has to be fixed immediately. So it is special. And some of the things on the logic side, I can kind of overrule because this is a little bit different, but that's the catch. This got me through some of the other harder things that I've held on to even longer, but it also reminded me that I do have some truths. I want to be free from my stuff. I need to be free from my stuff. I want to have clean space. So whatever this is doing broken is not serving me because I deserve more. So with that being said, the only way to kind of come with this and get rid of broken items is to make this not a broken item anymore. So in order for this to stick around, it's going to need to be fixed. It is a completely doable thing and it will be done because otherwise it's a broken item. So my objective would not have been met. Hopefully <laughs> that added some stuff to the idea of it. I think you can get the idea. I had gotten rid of most of what my broken items were the other day. Um, I just remembered to kind of keep, um, keep a few of them to go through with you. But the biggest issue is sticking to what you already know. Because you know you're going to come up with these the second you start going through your stuff. And you've got to remember what you put together in your clear logical mind. Because when I put this together, I was not thinking about my filter. I was not thinking about my shoes. I was not thinking about the wind chime. Because if I had thought about all those things, forget about it. I would have never even got past point A. But I put together what I know to be true. I put together what my hoarding mentality was going to jump out at because these are some of the things that it that it always comes back to. And then, you know, lastly is my truths. So anyway, that's just kind of a, a surface level dive into how to start with your board and get yourself going. Like I said, even though a lot of these um, hoarding mentalities may be the objective for the next item that you do, um, I erase it because you know what? It has to be like present for what you did. So with that said, let me go ahead and erase this bad boy up and get rid of that and get rid of that. Hopefully that helped. Please subscribe if you want to follow some stuff. Comment, like if you know somebody that is struggling with their hoarding mentality. Um, I'm here to help. Thanks.